Wow. So here we go. LH on top 12 to nothing. Two touchdowns by Florkovich, the difference. And the kick. Nice kick. Center deep and headed back towards Phillips. It'll be picked up by Pinckney. 25-30. Has a hole. 35-40 and he's cut down. Nice tackle. I think it was 65 or is that 62? 66. Okay, 66 on the stop and making that play for Brownsville. That's Bob Patterson. I'll tell you, there's jerseys. Some of these guys, the jerseys uh, crinkle up a little bit. And a nice tackle there. I'll tell you, if he doesn't make that tackle, he's got some running room. First down and 10 to the sideline for LH. Will come Ashton. He's played a nice ball game to big guy. Number 75, Chris Ashton. Two backs set in behind. Under center, Strange. Quick hitter goes up inside Phillips, and he is dropped immediately. And making the hit for Brownsville, number 75, Dennis Zellers. Had a nice chat with Craig Lyons before the ball game. He's down here with a good friend of his, Mike Rosgoni. And Brent Rosgoni is a younger brother of Mike. Mike and uh, Craig both played down on this field a couple of times. The last time LH and the only time LH made the playoffs. Had a fine defensive uh, unit and a good offensive team. Second down, better part of seven. After the three-yard pickup, they dip it outside to Phillips. He breaks one tackle, breaks a second. He cuts. He's to the 50, lowers the shoulder, and gets to the 45-yard line. Up from the secondary to make the hit, Todd settles. Also coming up, uh, number 12, Brandon Williams. And number 25, Jeff Pahalik out there also. But a first down to the 45, hash mark to the left. Sideline left, open field, wide side to the right at the 854 mark. Third quarter action. I'm John Kazarek along with Jerry Dupay. I want to say thanks also to Mr. Walter Wally, who's down there, and Mr. Wally and his wife Doty. Very instrumental in this league, and they've done a superb job. First down and 10 at the 45 yard line. Two back set in behind at the 45. Pitch left side, Phillips looking for the corner, cuts it up inside and gets a couple before he is rolled to the ground. And making the hit, Regis Grooms, number 20. Gain of three, into the lineup will come Florkovich. And Ashton will check to the sideline. Excuse me, Pinckney rather. Chaz coming over. Try and set that off. Okay, Yeoman is out there right now. 76 is going to be your tight end. That is Nathan Force. And we'll try and set that offensive line for you. Pokratsky, Gondek, Pinckney, Rosgoni, and Mishak, I think, is who they've got. Going to pitch to the right side, Florkovich, looking for the corner. Turns on the Jets. Little juke to the outside, and down he goes. And he'll be close to the first down. Good tackle here. Coming up to make the hit, Brandon Williams. And number 20, Regis Grooms, but Florkovich picks up some good yardage, crosses the 40 and gets to the 38, and <coughs> some question is to the spot, no, okay, they mark it now, Romaine will get it into Al Myers on the hash mark, move it right there to the 38 yard line, third down in about three and a half, 739 on the stop clock, big number 50. That's Justin uh, Mishak. 68 is Gondak, Pokratsky, Jason Pinckney, and I think Brett Rosgoni. That's your line. Up inside, Pinckney, and he is hit immediately by number 75, Dennis Zellers. It'll be fourth down now in about three. And maybe a line of scrimmage, if that. 7.24 to go. Strange will come to the sideline. Check the play. Florkovich coming at the 38-yard line. Fourth down in the better part of three. Look for him to go wide with Florkovich or a quick hitter up inside with Phillips. This is a nice two-edged sword as far as your running back set. And it'll go straight up inside. To oh, they had it set up, and it'll be a motion call. Oh, nice call. They flipped uh, the ball to Florkovich after the fake inside, and up the field they go. 
picking up uh, yardage. Oh, offside against uh, Brownsville. So a dead ball. You had someone in the neutral zone, evidently. So they'll move it up and set it at the 34-yard line and call it now first down and 10. To the sideline goes Stephen Strange, checking the play. Defensive secondary, number 83, that's Carr. Back there with him is Brandon Williams, who's played a bang-up game. 32 on the corner right here, that's Todd Settles. Defensive end number 20, Regis Grooms. First down now from the 34. Pitch left side, Phillips breaks one, breaks two, breaks three, but he is cut down on a nice tackle. Jeff Pahalik comes up to drilling, five yard loss at the 620 mark. And nice play by Pahalik. And I tell you, that's one of the ways that you're gonna knock a power runner down. You gotta hit him low. And if you're up around the thigh and up around the shoulders, they'll just roll right over you. But he torpedoed him and got him right at the knees and the ankles rather and cut him down. Loss of five. Second down now and 15. Florkovich in, Jerry? Okay, look for Florkovich coming wide here. You got the wide side coming to us. Let's see if they pitch and come this way. And they are. They're coming with it. Does he get a block? Dips in, dips out, and now he's got some running room. 40. Little juke and still on his feet and driving up ahead to the 29-yard line. Carr, they're making the hit. I think Grooms and Brandon Williams. So a nice game. And it'll go to the 29. So that's going to make it, what, third down and a better part of six to go for the first down. Clock is running at the 520 mark here, third quarter. Ray Brumley and Albert Cara. Here comes the snow they predicted. The head co. Oh, we got some snow flurries yeah. coming. All right. Ray Brumley and Albert Cara, the head coaches, Mike Gresham, John Stajeston, Jerry Gresham, Scott Carpell, and Roger Thomas. The coaches for Brownsville. And the snow really starting to come down a little bit. They pitch it to Phillips. And hello, how do you do? And he has knocked off his feet. Good defensive play, and I think that was 62 coming up to make the hit. Ray Weary and number 25, Jeff Pahaley. So looking at fourth down now and about 12 yards to go. And at the 439 mark, LH trailing it, or leading it rather, by 12 to nothing. Let's see if they burn a timeout here. They will not. Mustangs looking to advance it up the field into the lineup will come Verdell Banks. I tell you, they're going to be close to a delay of game call right here. Out over the ball they come. Wide right side. Fourth down and 12. They're going to pitch. Coming Phillips. Turns up. Gets a nice block on the corner, but he's not going to get the first down. Good tackle. Number 25 again, Jeff Pahalik. And it'll be first down and 10, Brownsville going the other way at the four minute mark. So Brownsville takes over. LH with a nice drive, couldn't put it in the end zone. Good defensive stop by Brownsville. Clock running. And there they go, out uh, that big defensive line checking out there. Going back in that secondary, number 40, Brandon Mahoney will go deep with Florkovich. And here comes Brownsville out over the football. Solomon is your quarterback or they make a change here, Jerry? We'll double check. I think it should be 11. Let's look and see. It is. And up inside, nothing doing. Hello, how do you do? And a big guy waiting right in the hole. Number 75, Ashton. And on the carry, was that uh, 35, Justin uh, Samuel or 25, Pahalik? Second and 10 now, 3.15 on a running clock. 28 yard line is the spot. Excuse me, 32 yard line rather. Going the other way. And you've got a new quarterback. I think that's Williams. Is that 12 in there? Yeah, yeah it is 12. Handoff goes to the outside. Coming up with it is Brown. And Brown rolling ahead. Verdell Banks the first to get to him, but he's got the first down. Mancini also in the area. 
Florkovich coming up quick to make the hit. I want to thank the fine people at Frontier Contracting, 423 Telegraph Road here in Brownsville, for helping sponsor this afternoon's contest. They provide full excavation servicing, landscaping, snow plowing, septic system repair, and driveway paving. Call anytime, any day, 24 hour answering service available, free estimates provided, 785 4444. 234 to go. Handoff goes to Brown, hits a stone wall, but breaks a tackle, and I think that's Duritsky hanging on. 23. 23, okay, that was Pinckney, Chaz Pinckney, 23, making the hit. Also want to thank the uh, following Brownsville school board members, Brownsville area school board members, Francine Pavone, Nina Kaminsky, Bob Bakewell, Willie Hudock, Rocky Brashear, all proud to co-sponsor this afternoon's contest. 2.05 on our running clock, second down now in about 10. So Solomon uh, is not out there right now. Number 12, Brandon Williams is your quarterback. Full house backfield, and the handoff will go to Brown, dips inside, dips outside, and goes to the ground. Is that 76 or 56? Okay, big Doug Lekorczyk making the stop. Nice chat with his dad before the ball game. Third down and nine. Boy, quarter shooting right along, Jerry. Number 42 checking in. Third down. And eight yards to go with a minute 19 remaining. And over here to the sideline comes Nathan Force. Third down from the 45. Williams, pocket pass, fires up, field complete, and he's got the first down. Carr on the reception, knocked off his feet by Pinckney, and they've got a big first down out near the 44-yard line, so Brownsville moving, picks up the first down. Rosgoni making the hit also. Verdell Banks, number 42, far side defensive end. Rosgoni, 71 inside of him. Lekorczyk, the nose tackle. 75 is the big guy. Ashton. And first down, 10 yards to go. Almost lost it. Williams back, rolling right side, wants to throw. Pressure, Verdell Banks steps out of that one. Pink Knee with a hard hit, and also there, number 71, Brett Rosgoni. Good play, however, by uh, number 12, Brandon Williams, to avoid the sack. Glenn Kramer is the other defensive end at secondary. We'll show number 31, David Holton. Florkovich is back there. 40 is Brandon Mahoney. Gondek, I think, is your middle linebacker. Mancini, 57, outside linebacker. And that's your defensive set for LH at the quarter. 12-0, LH on top. Fourth quarter action coming up right after this. The need for legal services may come under Fourth and final quarter, LH on top, 12-0. But Brownsville driving, looking at second down now and seven. And they come out over the football. I think that's Rechichar, and it is. He's your center. Williams, the quarterback. And he's back to throw. Pressure coming now. Phillips trying to get to him. Ball fluttered in the air. Picked off. Mancini. And he'll cross the 45-yard line. Credit Phillips with that. When he hit the quarterback, the ball fluttered in the air, and Mancini picked it up. LHO Avid first and ten. Let's run down that Brownsville roster. Dan Solomon, Brandon Williams, Kevin Kara, Doug Thomas, Regis Grooms, Josh Lilly, Joey uh, Yokel, Jeff Pahalik, Mark McCoy, Carson Thomas, Antoine Oliver, Tom Workman. Tom Todd settles, rather, Josh Brown, Justin Samuel, Jason McClellan, Stephen Schaefer, Craig uh, Zivkovich, Billy Gabone, Lee Miller, Elliot Sally, Brandon uh, Carrick, Ray Weary has had a heck of a game, Bobby Patterson, Josh Williams, Mike McGraw, Jared Slusser, Dennis Zellers, Matt Rechichar, uh, Justin Gibson, Tim Van Divner, B.J. Carr, Josh Brewski, Ross Wards, and Elliot Patterson. Whew, in a hurry, we got him. Handoff, left side, Phillips looks for the corner, and down he will go. Good play. Again, it's Bahalik knocking him off his feet. 
Carson Thomas closing also. I tell you, number 25, Jeff Pahalik has had a heck of a second half. Second down now after the loss. Gain, uh, second and 13 now. 9.03 to go on a running clock. What LH wants to do is possess that football right now, drive it up the field, if not score, take four or five minutes off the clock anyway. Out over the football they come. Brett Rosgowney comes out here as the left side tackle. Verdell Banks is one of the ends. Hand off Phillips, and he's not going anywhere. He is wrapped up. What number 20, nice defensive play by Regis Grooms. Aaron Loudon, Steve Strange, Adam Shinsky, Brett Rosgoni, Eric Phillips, Steve Johnson, David Holton, Brian Florkovich, Matt Painley, Santino Sloboda, Adam Lowe, David Pokraski, Randy Taylor, Justin Mishak, Chris Ashton, Bobby Mihalik, Randy McClellan, Doug LaCorchek, Mario Mancini, Jason Pinckney, Brian Hudock, Justin Doritsky, Brandon Mahoney, Ryan Ridley will be back. Uh, Ryan Gondek with the rest of them. Going to hand it off now. Right side looking is Florkovich. If he can get to the corner. Little juke inside, outside, still on his feet. And we got a flag. The rest of that roster, Jeff Gardner, Verdell Banks, Chaz Pinckney, Brad Yeoman, Nathan Force, Glenn Kramer, Garrett Brain, Mike Lichardi, and Josh Ashton. Was there a flag, Jerry? Uh, they might have just been marking where he went out of bounds. Fourth down in 16. You got to kick it out of here. This will be uh, an experiment in terror, I would think, because LH will have to punt it, and they have never all year long had any pressure. Usually in the league games, it's just snapped and kicked. Now they got to line up, and here's the snap. Oh, over his head. Picked up by Florkovich. If he can get to the corner, he's got some running room, and down he goes. At the 28-yard line, nice defensive play by Regis Grooms. So the LH defense will be tested now at the 27-yard line. First down and 10. Got to rally the defense, boys. Got to circle the wagon, so to speak, right here. Second half has been a defensive gem on both sides of the football. Into that secondary comes number 31, David Holton. He'll be back there with Mahoney. Verdell Banks at one of the defensive ends. Glenn Kramer out there also. Mancini on the corner. And also Taylor. The big boy in the backfield. Thomas back to throw. Pop pass. Complete on the ground. And now they're going to say incomplete. Ooh. Close call, LH had it. Pass intended, I think that was Carr. Had his hands on it, but couldn't control it. And if he had, it would have been a fumble. Second and 10 with 6.50 to go. Put it down at the 28 yard line. I want to thank our many, many fine sponsors here today. We'll get to them after this play. Six, excuse me, 6.50 to go. Hand off right side and rocking and rolling. Coming ahead comes Josh Brown. Stopped by Gondek and number 56, Lekorczyk. I want to thank Frontier Contracting. Brownsville Area School Board members Francine Pavone, Nina Kaminsky, Bob Bakewell, Willie Hudock, and Rocky Brashear. Also want to thank the fine people at uh, the New Berkey Electric Plus, Tim Harvey, the owner, law firms of Davis and Davis, John and John, attorneys at law, Bullet Garage up uh, in the Star Junction area. Also want to thank uh, Dow Construction and Gabe's and the Uniontown uh, Volunteer Firemen's Ambulance Corps. Right, Jerry? That's all of them, I believe. Third down now in about eight at the 6.07 mark. Williams, naked reverse, rolling to the right side. Mancini trying to get to him, turns the corner, and Florkovich will nail him at the 12-yard line. Nice rollout on the naked bootleg by Brandon Williams once he got past the corner. He has the first down, 5.58 to go. This is a critical drive for Brownsville. In that lineup will come number 38 for LH, Matt Painley. Defense has got to dig in. To the sideline, number 60, Glenn Kramer. 5.58 to go. 
We want to force him uh, to keep the ball inbounds, let that clock run. Williams with the deep back set behind him. That's Brown. Pocket pass firing and deflected and then caught. I'll tell you, that ball was intercepted, I think. But then Carr got it back. Carr made a great play and he's shaken up. We've got timeout on the field, 12 0. Brownsville threatening. We'll be right back. Carr being carried to the sideline. Uh, hope that everything's okay. That's either an ankle or a knee. And they're setting him down. It's at the two yard line, 544 to go. First down and 10. Or first and goal, rather. Brown under set, uh, is the setback in behind. Going to pitch for the corner and touchdown. Samuel for the touchdown. So we got a ball game. One yard run by Samuel. And Justin got into the end zone at the 532 mark. And now the all important PAT coming up. Jerry, take a look at the young man. Is he still on the bench over there, B.J. Carr? Yeah. Okay, I hope everything's okay with him. Most important thing here, believe me, and I mean this in all sincerity, is that these kids get out of here 100% uh, healthy and they have a good time playing. Middle of the field, they can go wide either way. Backs are set in behind. Pitch it again, looking for the corner, and he's in standing up. Number 32, Todd Settles for the PAT. So Brownsville with another touchdown could win this ball game. And it's up to LA to drive it on the ground now at the 532 mark. We'll be back. Brownsville, they trail 12 0 in the first quarter, and they have a chance now. They get the ball back and score to win this ball game. 12 8, your score. And I think that's Tommy Workman, 31. Am I right, Jerry, teeing yeah. it up? Yeah. Let's see if they onside kick it or just try and short kick it. And they do. And it's loose. And Mahoney's on top of it. Good play by Mahoney as he got on it. LH with the ball. Nice job. Number 40, Brandon Mahoney makes the play. 45 yard line, first down and 10, 532 to go. What you need right now, if you're an LH fan, a couple of first downs and keep the ball in the field of play, don't get out of bounds, and let that clock run. First down and 10, 45 yard line. Phillips, the split back with Florkovich. Strange out over it. On first down, they're going to pitch. Florkovich, can he get a block? He cuts up inside. Nice block on the corner. Cuts outside, lowers the shoulder, and gets about eight yards. Nice block. I think it was Phillips just ran over the defensive end. Might have been Williams on the tackle. Got away from me over there. And he got out of bounds, so that stops the clock. That's the one thing you don't want. Into the lineup will come number 25, Yeoman. Checking out of there comes number 23, Chaz Pinckney. This ball club's been put together real well, and you've got to give credit where credit is due. And Ron Popovich and his fine staff working awfully hard with these guys all week long. Second down and about three yards to go. 4.54 to go. Pitch it again, Florkovich cuts up inside, and he'll dive ahead and hit the first down, and I think he stayed in bounds also. Yeah. He did, so that's a big play. It gets the first down, and he did not go out of bounds. Al Myers makes the spot. I think he stayed in play, Jerry. And he's got the first down. So they'll reset the change. Let's see if you get that windmill motion from Romaine Howe, and you do. So that gets the clock running. Yeoman will check to the sideline. Looking in that huddle at number 61, Brian Hudock. He is one of the linemen. Now comes out, I believe, as an end. Four minutes and a half, 4.30 to go. Pitch again, Florkovich. Cut it up in, does, follows his blocking, stays in bounds, I believe. And he's shy of the first down. And Brian Gondek going to officiate. Look at Ryan there, 68. He's moving that clock along. And now the 4.10 and counting. So this is a nice drive. LH engineering it now. Shy of the first down. Into the lineup comes number 38, Matt Painley. To the sideline comes number 61, Brian Hudock. 
Second down and a foot to go for the first down with 349 to go. If you get the first down here, you can take a couple of minutes off the clock. Strange looks out, makes the call. Going to hand it off left side. Phillips cuts up in and almost lost the football. Nice play by Pahalik. But I think uh, Pahalik, I want to check. I think it's Pahalik, might be Pahalik. I'm going to double check. Pahalik, I think I've been saying Pahalik. But Jeff, you've played a bang up game. Either way you say it. First down and 10. Florkovich checks in. That first down right there, Jerry, is worth two minutes. If nothing else, also. Uh, if they elect to call timeouts, they'll burn some timeouts. So LH, tying his shoe, getting ready. That's Brett Rosgoni. I think I said it was Mike's uh, cousin. It might be his younger brother. It's his brother. Okay, had a baby. Pitch to right side. Oh, nice block again. Florkovich breaks one, breaks two. Still on his feet, and he's to the 19-yard line, and he's got a Mustang first down. Sam will force him out of bounds, but I tell you, he broke two tackles, Jerry. I tell you, what I'm liking, what I'm seeing from uh, number 24 here tonight, Eric Phillips, he's doing a nice job blocking, isn't he? Oh, Florkovich banged up a little. He's nicked into the lineup. We'll go number 42, Verdell Banks, and also number 23, Chaz Pinckney. Three minutes to go, and oh, Florkovich going to sit down right here in front of us. So you better call a timeout, Laurel Highlands. And they're going to get hit with a delay here. If they don't, I uh, think your quarterback better and does. Nice move, Steve Strange. He calls the timeout at the three-minute mark. We'll be right back. Florkovich is down and laying on the ground at the 35. Handoff up inside, Phillips. Crosses ahead, and you're going to see Brownsville, I think, start to take some timeouts, and they do. Second down now, and about eight. Florkovich looks like he's got a sprained ankle. We'll be back. Second down and eight now, as we come back following the timeout. One more first down by LH, and they can pretty much salt this thing away. Strange. Left side, pink knee. Looking for the corner, and he'll not get it. He's to the 20, and Browns will call another timeout. And there's your timeout. Good defensive play. Coming up, number 28, Antoine Oliver, along with Regis Groom. So, timeout, Brownsville. I think they might have one more left at the 243 mark. Third down and 11. Painley will check in. Third down, 11 yards to go. Phillips is the lone back set, and now number 23, Chaz Pinckney, will join him in the split back set behind Stephen Strange. Number 52, David Pokraski, your center, and here we go. Pitch to Phillips, cutting up inside, now reverses, cuts against the grain, lowers the shoulder and gets big yardage. Oh, beautiful running by Phillips, and Brownsville will take their last time out, 2.28 to go, and it's inside the 15, it'll be fourth down and about four. Nice run by Phillips, there's your indication from Romaine, final timeout, we'll be back. Here's your ball game right now. Fourth down, better part of four to go. Phillips is set with Pinckney in behind Strange. Look for Phillips on the carry here. And he'll pitch it right side, and he'll not get it. They went to the short side. Browns will take over. Nice defensive play. Number 20, Regis Grooms comes up. And at 2.23 to go, they have got 85, 83 yards to go for the first down. They rewind the clock, move the uh, chains, and Brownsville will huddle. And I'll tell you right now, if they don't have the play set over the ball, they're going to lose some time here because that clock should start. Romaine Howe will start it. 222, 221, 220. And they've lost some valuable seconds right here. LH has got to play a real deep prevent. And number 31 in that deep secondary, that's David Halton. He's back here with Mahoney and Taylor. Williams, 
Rolling right side. He got a lot of blocking out in front of him, and he's on his way. He's at the 40, 45, 50, and out of bounds. 40 yard line. Big play. 10, 20, 30, 40 yards by number 12, Brandon Williams, and he got out of bounds, which saves him valuable seconds. So this ball game is going to come right down to the closing seconds. First down and 10 at the 41-yard line. What, about 44 yards, right, Jerry? Verdell Banks made what might have been a touchdown and was a touchdown saving tackle. Here comes Brownsville again. Williams out and set, but that was a big one. First down, need a big defensive play right here. He's going to roll the other way, turns up inside, cuts once and twice and knocked off his feet. Good play here, trying to see who made the tackle. Okay, but the, from the secondary, Stephen Strange got up number 12, and they lose valuable time, gain of one. Chris Ashton also there, a minute 20 to go. Second down and 10. Williams, who's played a heck of a second half in here. Your quarterback, going to roll, wanting to throw. Pressure coming, and down he goes. Incomplete pass. Good pressure coming from Nathan, Nathan Force. Getting to him. And also coming hard. Was Kramer. Third down and 10. Good play to get rid of it. I'll tell you, if he hangs on to it, that's a sack. The clock continues to run. 108 to go. Third down now and 10. Into the lineup. Look for a halfback pass now. They have sent number 11 back into the lineup, Dan Solomon. So if number 12, Brandon Williams, stays at quarterback, you've got two quarterbacks in there and look for a halfback pass. Let's see what they do with it. Third down, back, pressure coming, firing up field, and in and out of the hands of Phillips, and then in and out of the hands of Solomon. Woo, both had a shot at it. Fourth down, here's your ball game. I tell you, LH was in position, I think, off for the interception, Jerry. Yeah. And then the ball went through, and Solomon had a shot at it. But in defense of Solomon, once that ball passes through the hands of a defender, you're sort of screened and tough to make. Now you've got to play that secondary deep. Fourth down. And nine. Heck of a ball game. Heck of a finish. Lekorchik right on that nose tackle. Pitch to the right side. They got a hole and Phillips will get him and it's going to be very close to the first down. I think he may have it. And he has got the first down. A minute to go. Nice call. This crowd is alive. They'll reset the chains and get the clock moving with 1.01 to go. Romaine Howell resets it and there's your clock. One minute. 59, 58, 57 seconds to go at the 30-yard line. Under center, Williams, pocket pass, rolling, wanting to throw, pressure coming, and he turns it up, and down he goes, and he's got a first down at the 17. Gondek making the hit. Also, there was Ashton. It is at the 18-yard line with 38 seconds to go. Might want to think of spiking it right here. First down and 10. Williams is out. Williams is set. We got time called. LH wants to regroup. They'll take a timeout. That helps Brownsville. We'll be back. Back at the, what, Jerry, 17-yard line or thereabouts, and Brownsville is driven with no timeouts up the field where they're in, at the 18, 38 seconds to go, and Williams has done a heck of a job on this drive. He's out, he's set, he's going to roll to the right. They've got some running, a great block. He cuts for the corner, 
and he's in for the touchdown! Great run by Williams, and that, my friends, probably is going to wrap it up. 17-yard run by Williams. And Brownsville, at the 32nd mark, has taken the lead at 14 to 12. What a ball game. That was number 12. Got to the corner, Brandon Williams got in. And now they go for the extra point, which absolutely means nothing right here. They've got the lead and a big comeback for Brownsville. They'll pitch it again. And Samal, Samuel gets in for the touchdown or the PAT. Brownsville 16, LH 12. We'll be back. A more than 80 yard drive, and uh, I'll tell you, great plays by Williams on that drive on the uh, bootlegs. They did not complete a pass, it was all on the ground. And uh, just a tremendous effort. He picked up, I think, 45 on one play. The touchdown came from 17. He had another about bigger than 10 yard play, and he got to the flanks and uh, was able to do it. So a great effort by Brownsville. They came back from 14 down, 85 yard run by Florkovich and a 36 yard run by Florkovich in the first quarter and LH led it 12 to nothing. A one yard run by uh, Samuel, two point conversion by Settles and a 17 yard run by Williams and a two point conversion here by Samuel. Brownsville on top and they onside kick it, loose ball and LH will get on it. Mahoney's got it, you gotta take a timeout. 30 seconds to go. You gotta burn a timeout, I would think, because that, no, they're gonna line up right over the football. First down and 10. Get over the ball, guys, or call your timeout, one or the other. Ron Popovich looking out there to send his ball club out, and they're gonna start the clock on you here, guys. And there it goes, they wind it with 27 seconds to go and they're in the huddle. The clock's running down there, guys. 21 seconds to go. I thought they would have used a timeout. Down to 17 seconds. And Strange, straight back. Gonna fire upfield and this one is picked off by Solomon. Looking for the corner and the clock will run out at the three second, two second, and that, my friends, will do it. So a very jubilant Brownsville ball club, a dejected Laurel Highlands team. But I'll tell you guys, both of you played great ball games here today. And it's going to be Brownsville to win it, 16-12. A heck of a midget league game. Hope you enjoyed the coverage. John Kazarek for Jerry DuPay, reminding you that South Union Township Sports Network coverage has been brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiff by Rock Cove and Tom Frankhauser, and of course, Helicon Cable Systems under the direction of Regional Manager Mr. Craig Tomchek. I'm John Kazarek for Jerry DuPay. Brownsville wins it by the count of 16 to 12. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Here's what's coming up next on...